Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Risha Airstorm WP jacket. Mesh jackets that let air through to the inside are an absolute blessing when it's really hot outside, but this jacket from Risha isn't just for roasting hot rides. The Airstorm WP is a three season textile jacket that costs £219.99. And in this video, I'll run through the features and give an idea of what it's like based on having worn this jacket on the road. The bulk of the outer is made from polyester with panels of ballistic cordura on the front and on the back for extra strength. Accordion stretch panels at the shoulders and elbows are there to make it nice and flexible too. And there are fit adjusters at the waist which let you pinch the jacket in to make it fit you better. But what really sets this jacket apart from a regular textile jacket is the mesh material. It's at the upper chest area and also just behind the neck. So this section is where it's most likely to get a good flow of incoming air because that's the area that sits above the screens on most bikes so you're less sheltered from wind flow. And then the panel on the back gives a good outlet for warm air that's built up on the inside. There are plenty of panels of light reflective material on the outside too, which is really important for being visible in a car's headlights. The fastener to this jacket is dead simple to describe. It's a zip. The collar at the top does up with a popper and Velcro. Use the Velcro alone if you're feeling lazy, and then you've got the popper when you can be bothered. But either way, the collar won't be flapping about. And there's also a neoprene insert just here in the middle of the collar, so it's nice and flexible on your throat when it's done up. And then if you want to pull the collar out of the way entirely, there's this loop on the end of the collar, and it secures back on this hook just across here, so you've got less obstruction around your neck. The other fasteners are at the cuffs, which secure with zips and then Velcro tabs across the front. I found there was plenty of room to fit gloves inside these. I could even fit my chunky winter gloves inside when I tried it just to find out how much room there was. So pockets. Externally there are two, which is just as you'd expect from any textile bike jacket really. You've got two zipped hip pockets just here. So moving to the inside, the main part of interest here is the waterproof membrane. It's an Aquashell membrane, that's Risha's own brand, and it's rated to what's called a 10,000 millimeter static head. So in lab tests, it will cope with a 10 meter column of water without leaking. That's a pretty general purpose figure for waterproof membranes, so it should be up to a decent standard of rain protection. I did get the chance to try this jacket in the rain, but unfortunately for me on that day, I didn't have the waterproof lining in. So I can tell you that this is like a tea bag when there's no lining inside and you will get wet. But I have every confidence that with the waterproof membrane in there, you stay nice and dry on the inside. It's easy to get that waterproof membrane out and it's easy to put it back in again. There's just one long zip around the inside of the jacket and then you've got two poppered tabs at the base of each sleeve. Having that liner available to you means this jacket isn't only good when the weather is hot, as it means you've got coverage from when it's raining as well. Combine that with a good warmth layer underneath the jacket on cold days and I'd say this jacket will be good for the bulk of spring, summer and autumn. If you expect to ride a lot in heavy rain, then I would suggest something a bit more substantial than this jacket. But if you're the sort of person who rides in the rain only when you have to, rather than because you want to go out in the rain, then I think this jacket will suit that ideally. So the armour supplied with this jacket covers shoulders and elbows. It's decent D3 O armour that meets the basic level one of the CE standard. There's also a pocket for a back protector, and you can choose between a slimline central spine protector, which is about 40 pounds, or there's a more complete back protector, which gives you broader coverage of the back, and that costs 50 pounds. There are also pockets for chest protectors that can be fitted, and that's 31 pounds for D3 O level one protection. Overall, protection from the Airstorm WP jacket is rated to CE level A. It's the most basic level in the standard, but it's exactly what I'd expect from a lightweight jacket like this. So final details on what's on the inside. There's a connection zip and there are some pockets. It's got a short connection zip to attach it to Risha trousers, and there are two pockets in the main shell, and then there's one in the waterproof liner. In my time wearing this jacket, there were some really hot days, and the airflow through to the inside was very welcome. You could really feel that cooling air coming through. Having the option to put the liner back in and protect against rain makes this much more versatile and useful. I just wish I'd had it with me on the day that it absolutely hammered it down. That flexibility is crucial really because let's face it, a jacket that's only going to be useful in scorching hot weather is probably going to have limited use in this country. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Risha Airstorm WP textile jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.